Kicking off the list at number 10, Sir Isaac Newton. All right, yeah, we'll start this list off back in the early 1700s. Why not? Let's start crying back in the olden days. Sir Isaac Newton lived until he was 80, and back in the 1700s, living until you're 80, why, that's practically unheard of, right? That's insane. Newton started to experience digestion issues, but come 1727, he blacked out and never woke up again. The man died at 84. His last words were sad, of course, as are all of these on this very sad list that I'm doing, in a hopefully not sad way. But they go as follows. I don't know what I may seem to the world, but as to myself, I seem to have only been only like a boy playing on the seashore and diverting myself now and then and finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than the ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. What exactly that means? That's up. Let's all talk about it in the comments. Let's try and decipher that. There we go. Number nine, John F. Kennedy. A little more recent, jumping to the 1960s, President John F. Kennedy was killed while riding in a motorcade. We all know this one, of course. I don't have to go into grim detail about what happened here. He was riding alongside his wife, of course, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, and in front of him, there was Texas Governor John Connolly and his wife, Nellie. They were all rolling along when Nellie said to John, you certainly can't say that the people of Dallas haven't given you a nice welcome. The president then said back, no, I certainly can't. And just moments later, that's when he met his fate. Number eight, Alfred Hitchcock. This man went out with a zinger. Classic, what a classic drama queen. Alfred Hitchcock worked alongside famous painters and literary figures throughout history. He's an icon. He teamed up with Cary Grant, Jimmy Stewart, Dorothy Parker, you name it. In his 1945 film Spellbound, Alfred even brought on Salvador Dali, like the real Salvador Dali, to help him with the film's dream sequences, right? He had a vision, he knew what he was doing. He also terrified many people for years to come. It's also a fun one. Hitchcock is known for going great lengths to keep his endings a secret, like Psycho, for example, a 1960s classic. The ad department for the film told audiences to please not give away the ending, as it's the only one they have. That's fun, that's cute. Weirdly mirrors his last words in real life. As he was dying, Alfred said, one never knows the ending. One has to die to know exactly what happens after death. Although Catholics have their hopes. That sounds very Alfred Hitchcocky. Number seven, Steve Jobs. A little, little more modern, there we go. When I was making this list, I couldn't believe how long it's been since Steve Jobs has passed away. It's been a while. The tech icon's last moments were in 2011. He was surrounded with love. He had beside him his sister Patty, his children, and his partner Laureen. Steve looked above them and said, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. He said, oh wow, three times. That's pretty heavy stuff to hear. Steve's last moments were shared furthermore when his sister wrote in his eulogy, even now he had a stern, still handsome profile, the profile of an absolutist, a romantic. Number six, Nostradamus. I predict that you'll hit that thumbs up. <laughs> That's inappropriate, but eh, we try our best. The astrologer's last words were in itself predictions. And this last prediction, he sadly got right. Nostradamus, full name, Michel de Nostradam, published a book on prophecies back in 1555. And in it, he had 942 pieces of writing. He had these poems that told the future, right? These texts have supposedly hinted towards the JFK attack, meteors hitting Earth, the invasion of France, global warming, you name it. He said some eerie things about such topics, and he also predicted his own death. On paper, he did. It was his last ever prediction. It was July 1st, 1566. His priest said to him, until tomorrow. And Nostradamus replied, you will not find me alive at sunrise. Sadly, he was correct. Number five, Beethoven. Another icon, another staple in history, the German composer Ludwig van Beethoven. We've recently heard his work in theaters. In Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange fights the villain with musical notes. He uses these notes. He uses Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 in C minor. Now we've heard Beethoven in IMAX, right? What a time to be alive. When Ludwig was still alive, he faced many health problems. Hepatitis, jaundice, skin diseases, cirrhosis of the liver, and of course, deafness. When his time came on March 26, 1827, the composer was believed to have said, applaud my friends, the comedy is over. This is false, this is not true at all. Beethoven's close friend, Anselm Hüttenbrenner, who was very much present during his friend's passing, he said his last words were about the case of red wine that had just been delivered from his publisher. Ludwig's true last words followed, and they were, pity, pity, too late. About the wine, fair, more than fair, it was a little too late. Number four, Marie Antoinette. 
Another older one, but I figured I'd go more Victorian for this list, you know? Instead of like recent celebrities, that's, that's only depressing. We don't want to talk about those. During the height of the French Revolution, Louis XVI of France and Marie Antoinette were both charged with treason. The phrase, let them eat cake, is often associated with Mrs. Antoinette in this case, but her last words were actually an apology. Not to the people in which they owed it to, but to the executioner whose foot she stepped on whilst approaching the guillotine. Yeah, shows like Game of Thrones make it look easy to say something cool right before your, you know, demise. In reality, I would beg for my life. Looking up at this dude? Yeah, I, I would plea. I'd be like, pl please don't do this. I really don't want this to happen. Number three, Bob Marley. Of course, we have to mention the one and only reggae legend, Bob Marley, okay? Cancer was the reason that this icon met his fate early, the big C, once again. Marley was only 36 years old when he passed away in 1981. Next to him, he had his son, Ziggy, and to him, he shared the final words. And I think we could all learn a little something something here. He said to Ziggy, money can't buy life. Yeah, I'll say that again. Money can't buy life. Not happiness, life. Bob Marley's death was so impactful that the Jamaican government turned this sad day into a national holiday. Yeah, that's a great idea. Live some more of that life. Take the day off. Blast some Marley and, you know, you know the rest. Stuff I can't talk about, you know? Light some candles, right? That's an ideal way to mourn somebody as impactful as Bob Marley. I'm here for it. Number two, Giles Corey. Out of the 27 people who had their lives taken away from them during the 1692 Salem witch trials, 19 were hanged, 17 passed away in prison while serving their sentence, and the last victim, Giles Corey, refused to plead either innocent or guilty. And the law at the time states that you can't be tried otherwise. So he did what was ultimately best for him and his family and his estate. The townsfolk laid a heavy board on top of the 81-year-old man during the witch trials and all that nonsense. And then over the course of two days, boulders were slowly added, making the weight more and more unbearable. They were hoping that Giles would admit something, you know, either being innocent or guilty, whatever the case. But every time they asked him anything, Giles responded with, more weight. How epic is that? Extremely brave. This is something like, it sounds easy, but in reality, I would never do this. I would fold immediately. I would be like, this is so hard. But sadly, after two days of this torture, Giles passed away. He fought for so long and did what he could because if he had gone either of the other two ways, Giles would have his property taken away from the town. But since he passed away, not admitting guilt, he was still in full possession of his estate, which immediately went to his son-in-law. And finally, number one, Robin Williams. Okay, I wanted to end on one that really hit home for me personally. I try and bring comedy into these lists whenever I can. It's like, you know, cursed dolls that will haunt your family. I'm like, okay, I try and jazz it up a bit. I try and add some physicality to it whenever I can, brighten the mood. Because I was raised watching this man right here. Robin sadly passed away in August 2014. I was 19 at the time. I still remember the day, right? It was the first celebrity death that actually did something to me physically. And I don't mean for that to sound sensitive, but I grew up with this man, right? He was like Hook, Aladdin, robots, so underrated, right? Robin's wife, Susan Schneider Williams, revealed her husband's last words in an interview with ABC. And when the couple was getting ready for bed the night before, his last words were, good night, good night. Yeah, I wanted to end on a nice, good, peaceful note instead of something horrible from the 1700s. There we go. Starting off this countdown, we have Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy was an iconic actress in the late 90s to early 2000s. She was well known for the movies Clueless or Uptown Girls. And it was such a tragedy that she had to pass away at such a young age. She had such a bright future ahead for her. Sadly, on December 20th, 2009, Brittany passed away. Shortly before this, she had called her mom and said, Mom, I'm dying. Imagine hearing those words coming out of your daughter's mouth. It just breaks my heart. It said she passed away from pneumonia, an iron deficiency, and from having multiple drugs in her system. In our ninth spot, we have Elvis Presley. All right, so Elvis Presley. Do I even have to explain who Elvis was? Like, if you don't know who he was, then wow, you might be a little too young to watch these videos. I'm kidding, but he was just a huge superstar. On August 16th, 1977, Elvis had gone to the dentist in the morning and then returned home to his fiance. At some point he told her that he was, and I quote, going to the bathroom to read, in which she replied with, don't fall asleep in there. It was a joke. And he replied with, okay, I won't. 
those were his last words. She then proceeded to have a nap and a couple hours later she woke up to find that he never came out of the bathroom. He had passed away in there. This just makes his last words so haunting. What's even worse is that he proposed to her on January 26, 1977 in that bathroom, the same place he passed away. In our 8th spot we have Prince, a huge rock legend that was known for his elaborate stage outfits and amazing voice and vocal range. Prince was performing almost every night in high heels. As a result, he developed bad back and hip problems, leading him to need some serious painkillers. He was prescribed a fentanyl patch to help with the pain, which later would contribute to his overdose on April 21st, 2016. Before he passed away, he had been on the phone with his lawyer. Prince assured him that he was fine, he said he was doing perfect. And then he said, okay, I'll call you soon. Prince never called back. He passed away shortly after. Moving on to number seven, we have Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was an American singer, songwriter, and musician. To this day, he's considered one of the most influential electric guitarists. Now, according to his girlfriend, Jimi spent his last day in London with her. She claimed that he had made a meal for them at her apartment at around 11 at night, accompanied with a bottle of wine. At around 1.45, she drove him to his his friend's house and then picked him up a couple hours later. The last words he ever spoke were to his girlfriend and they were, I need help bad man. The next morning she found him unconscious and unresponsive. He passed away shortly after. In our sixth spot, we have Kurt Cobain. I just realized that there are a lot of great musicians on this list. Like, it's sad that they left this world so soon. Kurt Cobain was a singer songwriter for the band Nirvana. Sadly, in 1994, he took his own life. He was only 27 years old. His last words were found in a note that he left. In the note, he quoted Neil Young's lyrics. He said, It's better to burn out than fade away. And those were his last words. And from them, we can kind of interpret that he wanted to go out being famous instead of being forgotten. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel, of course, you know her for being the founder of the luxury brand Chanel, which is still huge to this day. I wish I could afford it. I can't. Sadly, she passed away on January 9th, 1971 from old age. She was 87 years old when she passed away and she was getting pretty frail. On the day of her death, she went out for a long drive. When she returned home, she wasn't feeling well and went to bed early. Her final words were to her maid and she said, you see, this is how you die. That's pretty dark if you ask me. What's freaky is how a lot of these celebrities knew that they were passing away. Like they can feel their body giving up on them or something. Somehow they just know that it will be their final day. Moving on to number four, we have Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford was an American film and TV actress. She started off as a dancer for a number of theater companies and then went on to be on Broadway. From there, her career took off and she was in a number of impressive films. Sadly, on May 10th, 1977, she passed away from a heart attack at the age of 73. While this was happening, apparently her maids were praying for her and her last words were telling them off. She said, damn it, don't you dare ask God to help me. And then she passed away. Wow, I, I bet those maids felt really bad after that. Coming in at number three, we have Michael Jackson. Now, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the king of pop's death. But in the end, he passed away after overdosing on propofol, the drug he was addicted to and constantly had his doctors administer him. The last thing he ever said was more milk. Milk was the name he had given propofol because of its milky appearance. So his last words were asking for the thing that would later kill him. In our second spot, we have Princess Diana. On August 31st, 1997, Princess Diana got into a car with her rumored boyfriend. However, the driver the driver of the car was very intoxicated and ended up driving at a very high speed when he lost control of the car and smashed into a pillar. The driver and her boyfriend died instantly. The paparazzi that had been following the car watched this tragedy unfold before their eyes. Diana suffered from a concussion, broken arm, cut thigh, and massive chest injuries. When the paparazzi came to her rescue, they heard her say, my god, what's happened? That's the last thing she said. 
She passed away later in the hospital as a result. And in our number one spot, we have Chris Farley. Chris Farley was an American comedian and actor known for being on Saturday Night Live or in movies such as Coneheads and Wayne's World. Farley's last day was December 17th, 1997. The weekend prior, he spent it partying and doing drugs with a lady of the night named Heidi. On the Wednesday, the two were doing some heavy drugs. When she got up to leave, Farley apparently said, don't leave, and then he passed out. She took a photo of him and then left. That's so sad. The last thing he ever said was him pleading for her to stay so that he wasn't alone. The next day, Chris's brother found him still lying on the floor close to the door. He was found clutching rosary beads. He had passed away from drug overdose. And I bet Heidi felt really bad after that and also because she has a picture of him. Starting off this countdown, we have Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is famous for co-founding Apple, of course. But sadly, in 2003, he was diagnosed with an unusual form of pancreatic cancer. On October 5th, 2011, almost exactly eight years since he was first diagnosed, he lost his battle to cancer. According to his family, Steve's final words were, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, he said it three times. Then he lost consciousness and died several hours later. They also said that he first looked at his sister Patty, then over to his children, and then to his partner and then over their shoulders past them. And that's when he said, oh wow. So what was it that he saw over their shoulders? Was it the white light everyone talks about? In our ninth spot, we have Steve Irwin. But before I go any further, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. Steve Irwin, otherwise known as the crocodile hunter, was known for getting up close and personal with dangerous creatures like crocodiles or venomous snakes. It seemed like nothing scared him. Sadly, on September 4th of 2006, while filming a documentary called Ocean's Deadliest, Steve got pierced by a stingray's barb. The barb went right through his chest, piercing his heart. Crew helped him onto the boat as he started to bleed to death. One of the crew members, Justin, tried to comfort Steve and said, think of your kid, Steve. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One of the crew members, Justin, tried to comfort Steve and said, think of your kid, Steve. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Steve just looked up at him and said, I'm dying. And that was the last thing he said. And at number eight, we have Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra was an American singer and actor that won a number of awards, like an Academy Award, three Golden Globes, multiple gold discs, and a Lifetime Achievement Grammy Award. But after being very ill for a number of months, he had a heart attack and died shortly after. His wife was by his side comforting him while this happened. And she revealed that his last words were, I'm losing it. It's so sad and scary. Moving on to number seven, we have Frida Kahlo. Famous artist Frida Kahlo was said to be one of Mexico's greatest artists. She began painting mainly self-portraits after a bus accident that left her severely injured. From there, her artwork became well known, and they were exhibited in Paris and Mexico before her death. About a week after her 47th birthday on July 13th, 1954, she passed away. Her last words were in her diary entry and it read, I hope exit is joyful and I hope never to come back. Now it's said that she passed away from a pulmonary embolism, but others believe that she took her own life. At that point in her life, she did have a couple of failed attempts. This was because she had to have her right leg amputated below her knee from a gangrene infection and that really affected her. It's really sad that her final words are basically saying how she wanted to die and then never come back. In our sixth spot, we have Paul Walker. Paul Walker was an actor known primarily for the series The Fast and the Furious. He passed away on November 30th, 2013 after attending a charity event. Paul's last words were, we'll be back in five minutes. This was said to Jim Torp, a man working at the event. But sadly, Paul never returned back. He got into a car that his friend was driving and a little while later, they crashed into a concrete lamppost and two trees before it burst into flames, killing Walker and the driver instantly. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with John Lennon, an amazingly talented singer and songwriter who was the founder and co-lead vocalist for the Beatles. On December 8th, 1980, John Lennon 
Hamilton was assassinated outside of his Manhattan apartment. The man that took his life was a fan that travelled all the way from Hawaii. Apparently he didn't like Lennon's lifestyle and how he was portraying himself to the press. On that night he waited outside of Lennon's apartment and then shot him four times in the back. Lennon's last words were, I'm shot. I'm shot. He repeated it twice. And that was the last thing he ever said. Rest in peace, John Lennon. Witnesses told police Lennon was shot near the door to his apartment building as he and Yoko Ono returned from a recording studio. I saw John and Yoko get out of the, get out of the limousine. <laughs> They walked into the game. Moving on to number four, we have Mozart. Mozart was a very well known and talented composer. He got into music very early on in life and was extremely gifted. But on December 5th, 1791, he passed away at the age of 35. And of course, there's a bunch of theories as to how he died. Some say he was poisoned by his rival. But it's believed that he died from a disease that led to a severe fever, causing him to slip into a coma. But we still don't know what disease led to his death. Anyways, one of the last things he ever said was, The taste of death is upon my lips. I feel something that is not of this earth. I mean, that's very artistic, but also it's sad because he knew that he was going to pass away soon. In our third spot, we have Nostradamus. Nostradamus was a very famous man known for being a prophet. Apparently he could see into the future, and honestly, a lot of his predictions have come true. So people believe that he was legit. Well, Nostradamus actually predicted the exact date of his death. On July 1st, 1566, he made sure to tell his priests all of his last predictions, because he knew that the next day he was going to die. The priest ended the conversation saying, until tomorrow, and he replied with, you will not find me alive at sunrise. He died that night. His last words to another person were, Tomorrow I shall no longer be here. That's pretty freaky. In our second spot, we have Amy Winehouse, another super talented individual. Like her voice is incredible. It sends shivers down my spine. But on July 23rd, 2011, Amy passed away from alcohol poisoning. The night before her death, Amy Winehouse met with her doctor and told her that after three weeks of being sober, she started drinking again because she was bored. The the conversation ended with Winehouse saying, I don't want to die. And that was one of the last things that she ever said. The next day, the bodyguard found her laying in the same position as she was a couple hours prior. He checked on her, and that's when he knew she was gone. Now, this one breaks my heart because she literally was so worried about dying, and then the very next day, the very thing that she feared happened. And in our number one spot, we have Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger was a well known Australian actor known for starring in movies such as 10 Things I Hate About You, Brokeback Mountain, and The Dark Knight. Sadly, on January, January 22nd, 2008, he passed away from an accidental prescription drug overdose. The night he died, he was on the phone with his sister who was worried about him. He told her that he was going to take sleeping pills on top of his prescription for a chest cold because he couldn't sleep, but she warned him not to. His last words were, Katie, Katie, look, it'll be fine, you know, I just need to get some sleep. Sadly, he never woke up. Mm -hmm. 